So here is another molecule. And this is an acid. It's protonated on the nitrogen. This is a, a type of aniline, an aromatic amine. The nitrogen is on a benzene ring. And this can be deprotonated, undergo this equilibrium we've seen so many times. Lose that proton. Form the conjugate base. In this case, the conjugate base is neutral because our acid started with a positive charge. And this molecule, this protonated dimethylanilin, has a pKa of around 5. Okay, let's draw a fairly similar structure that has a very different pKa. And this molecule looks like this. Uh, this is the acid form, the protonated form of the molecule. And it has, a, it has a pKa of about 12. Now, if this were to react with water, the water could deprotonate our nitrogen, just as we saw in the top reaction, to give us this. This would be our conjugate base. But for some reason, this reaction, the lower reaction, moving to the right is not as favorable as the top reaction. So this is a much stronger acid. And this is a much weaker acid. Well, the difference must be, whoops, get that out of there, must be in this attached ring. So what is going on here? Now, as it turns out, if we explored this and we drew resonance forms and thought about where are the charges and the electronegativity atom of the atom and the size of the atom and all that kind of stuff, all our usual tools, um, we'd have a hard time explaining this. This example, as it turns out, falls beyond the six reasons that we learned about. What's actually going on here, and it's somewhat intuitive, is you have this hydrogen and it is sandwiched between these two nitrogens. Yeah, it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, sandwiched between these two nitrogens. And both these nitrogen lone pairs are simultaneously holding on to our hydrogen. Let's finish our structure. And since there are two nitrogens holding on to the proton, it's held more tightly. The, if the protons held more tightly, the structure is a weaker acid as we showed on the left. This compound actually has a name. It's called proton sponge. Yes, I'm not making that up. If you Google proton sponge, you will get several hits about proton sponge and you'll see this structure. This structure actually surprisingly grabs very strongly onto protons. And it uses this kind of picture here um, on, on the right. So we have a, an M plus and that's not bad, but really we have an, a nitrogen holding on to the hydrogen, and then we pick up an extra hydrogen bond from another nearby atom. So hydrogen, strange intramolecular hydrogen bonding effects also can give changes in pKa values. And in this fact, the change is pretty significant. We go from having a pKa of 5 all the way down to a pKa of 12. That's, a, that's about a factor of 10 million. So that, that's a really big change in terms of the observed acidity of this particular molecule. So just another example of kind of different effects that occur. Everything isn't about resonance or induction um, or hyperconjugation. There are other effect, effects that arise as well.